now that we know how to draw Lewis structures, we can do an estimation process to calculate reaction enthalpies from bond energies. Bond energy is the energy it requires to break a bond. So if we're breaking a carbon-carbon bond, it takes on average about 347 kilojoules per mole. This is an estimation process since these bond energies will vary with the environment. So this carbon-hydrogen bond will be a little bit different if there's something else over on this uh, other end of the molecule. But it's an estimation process, so it's a starting point for us to estimate where our reaction enthalpies are. So what we do, the bond energy is always positive because that's we're looking at breaking the bond, that's an endothermic process. So our reaction enthalpy is estimated by adding up all the bonds broken and then subtracting off all the bonds formed. Now we need to know the type of bonds. This is where we have to draw our Lewis structures. So for this reaction of burning ethane to form carbon dioxide and water, by drawing out the Lewis structure, we can see that we have a single bond between the carbons. Um, we can only have single bonds between carbon and hydrogens. But on the oxygen, we have a double bond. Carbon dioxide, we have two double bonds. And then on the water, we have single bonds. So double bonds are, of course, stronger than single bonds. Triple bonds are stronger than double bonds. So we have to know the type of bond that we're dealing with. And we need a source of the bond energies. So once we have that, we can estimate the reaction enthalpy of this process. So we have um, two carbon-carbon bonds. So we're going to add in two carbon-carbon bonds. We have six times two, 12 carbon-hydrogen bonds. We have seven oxygen-oxygen double bonds. So we're adding all those up. Those are the ones we're breaking. We're creating four times two, eight carbon-oxygen double bonds and six times two, 12 oxygen, hydrogen, single bonds. We put in the values that we have, and we run through our calculator, and we end up with a negative 2876 kilojoules for this reaction as written. So these start off with kilojoules per mole. These numbers are the number of moles we're multiplying by. So the moles cancel off. We're just left with kilojoules for the reaction as written. 